Hi, I'm Bob Thurwall, DeKalb Field Agronomist in southwestern Ontario. You can see on the roots here some very abnormal root structures. This grower sprayed a late application of 2,4-D. He was concerned with glyphosate resistant fleabane and wanted to get a head start on those before going into Roundup Ready soybeans next spring. So he sprayed a low rated 2,4-D in around the five or six leaf stage and you can see that typical symptomology of root pruning. You can see the fusing of the roots, of the brace roots and also a proliferation of little tiny roots on some of those brace roots as well which is typical of 2,4-D damage. And when you don't get the proper formation of those brace roots, you're much more susceptible to a heavy wind event. And couple that with uh, a wet spring this year, the root mass isn't searching uh, as deep as normal for moisture. We've had lots of water in this area. So the root mass is uh, much shallower in the soil profile this year. You get that heavy uh, rain event, four inches of rain, along with heavy winds and uh, the corn gets pushed over. You can see the goose necking on the corn here in this particular hybrid. And you can see just about the cob level where that corn plant is starting to lift back up and straighten and reach for the sky again. So if we look over the other side to a different hybrid, and we can just see what typically would be more of a normal root structure on this particular stock, and maybe this one as well. But if you look a little closer, you can see on that second node down, some fusing of the brace roots. If you look on this plant here, you can see some abnormal root structures there, twisted, turned over, and kind of heading the wrong way. And again, some fusing of those brace roots, which again is a, a typical sign of 2,4-D injury. So I think what we're looking at here is a late application of 2,4-D, even though it was a pretty late um, a pretty low rate. Um, it seems to certainly have had some effects on those roots. When we're walking through the corn, uh, the corn is actually still quite brittle, which again can be another symptom of 2,4-D or a growth regulator type injury. And um, even though the other hybrid is standing quite a bit better, um, we still see some symptoms of that 2,4-D injury from that late application.